the two cabinets. So the cabinet does set a Coleman co cooler, like right, right between it, and there is uh, 12 and a half inches between my cabinets. So pretty stoked on that. I thought it worked out surprisingly. <laughs> but they are exactly 22 inches wide, and the top of it is five inches wide. And the, the height of it, uh, let's see if I can get that down there and get the demo. Well, I think they came out to be, I think they're 29, just because I'm resting on the rubber. I think they're 29 high. And then uh, the table itself is 22 by 16 and I needed to offset it by and it's going to be specific to what what you're doing so I need to offset it by about an inch and three quarters and I just kind of lined it up to how it so, so it went flat on the top so the full surface and then down here I just built this little cabinet and I just kind of lined up wherever I could that I could still fit like a five gallon jug underneath this one. And then the other one is, um, the, it's a little, like, quite a bit shorter, just enough so I can fit like boots. I can kick my feet in under there. And I don't have a lip on this one. I don't know. I'm gonna use, do something different. See how we can use that for storage still. So that's still work in progress. But to get these straight, so the one thing is, it was, they were not straight when I first put them in, and now they are. <laughs> so, to get them straight, I ran a string from the, from the outside of this one across these to the outside of this one, and then um, when I mounted them to the floor, so they mounted to the floor like this one. I actually used a metal bracket and it goes underneath the uh, the seat. There's still like enough thread so it still gets all the way down in there. I was a little bit worried about that when I was thinking about using this as a solution. And then these on this side are self-tapped like directly through the to the floor and then just bolted into the sides and like bolted. And so the other side you have to worry about because that hot side is the gas tank and it looks like you're putting in a floor so that doesn't really matter as much to you but i was able to get a bolt here because it was away from the gas tank right here and over here this bracket goes um underneath this metal this plastic piece here and there's a self-tapping screw in it like right here just because this had space where i knew i wouldn't hit the gas tank and this side over here did not. So it's kind of funky, but yeah, these are super sturdy. Pretty stoked on how this turned out. This one isn't quite as sturdy because I think the shelf is too high, but I don't know. What can you do? There's gonna be a five gallon jug of water underneath that. So that's the only bummer about that. I could, uh, I guess I could strap it to the back of the seat or something like that. But yeah, that's how I built that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah.